In this video, I'll be walking you through how to calibrate Edmet's CoGuard. To be able to properly calibrate this unit, you must wait 3-4 to four hours after initial power-up before starting the calibration process. You will need the following three pieces of equipment for your calibration. A CoGuard calibration regulator, a zero gas cylinder, and a span gas cylinder of 20 ppm carbon monoxide. Please note that a failure in either the zero or span calibration procedures will result in a fault condition while in operational mode. This cannot be cleared until both procedures are completed successfully. The first step to starting your calibration is to enter the maintenance menu. To do this, press and hold the menu key for 3 to 5 seconds until you see the word exit appear on the display. You are now in the maintenance menu. The zero function must be performed by exposing the co-guard to clean air using your zero gas cylinder. The zero procedure steps are as follows. Press the menu key once to highlight the zero submenu option. Connect your calibration regulator to your zero gas cylinder and connect the quick disconnect fitting to your CoGuard sample inlet. Open the valve on the regulator to begin the flow of gas to the sensor. Ensure that the gas is flowing through the instrument by checking the flow meter on the front panel of the instrument. If no flow is present, ensure your calibration regulator valve is open and check the calibration regulator pressure gauge to ensure your cylinder is not empty. Press the select button to begin the zero procedure. The display will alternate between zero and PV. PV stands for present value. Should you need to abort for any reason during this process, press and hold the menu button for three to five seconds until abort is displayed. You may press the menu button to return to the zero process or select to abort the process and return to the maintenance menu. The CoGuard will monitor the signal sensor for stability for 30 seconds. If the sensor signal is stable after 30 seconds and with intolerance, the new zero point will be accepted and Cal OK will be displayed, indicating a successful zero. Close the valve on the regulator and disconnect the calibration regulator from the CoGuard sample inlet. If the signal is not with intolerance, after 30 seconds, bad zero will be displayed, indicating the zero procedure was not successful. Make sure to check your gas cylinder and ensure that you're using the correct cylinder. If zeroing the instrument is still unsuccessful after one retry, this may indicate there's a problem with your sensor and the sensor may need to be replaced. If the sensor signal does not stabilize after five minutes, the display will indicate unstable and it will return you to the maintenance menu. This means the zero procedure was not successful and it may also indicate a problem with the sensor. Once the zero procedure has been successfully completed and returned to the maintenance menu, the span submenu option will be highlighted on the display and you are ready to begin the span procedure. If span is not being displayed, you must re-enter the maintenance menu and highlight the span submenu option before proceeding. To complete the span calibration of your instrument, follow these steps. Connect your calibration regulator to your 20 ppm carbon monoxide span gas cylinder and connect the quick disconnect fitting to your CoGuard sample inlet. Open the valve on the regulator to begin the flow of gas to the sensor. Ensure gas is flowing through the instrument by checking the flow meter on the front panel of the instrument. If no flow is present, ensure your calibration regulator valve is open and check the calibration regulator pressure gauge to ensure your cylinder is not empty. Press the select button to begin the span procedure. The display will alternate between span and PV. PV stands for present value. Again, 
Should you need to abort for any reason during this process, press and hold the menu button for 3 to 5 seconds until abort is displayed. You may press the menu to return to the spam process or press select to abort the process and return to the maintenance menu. To change the calibration gas concentration to be used, press and hold the select button for 3 to 5 seconds. You may then use the menu button to adjust the digit and the select button to accept the change. The CoGuard will monitor the sensor signal for stability for 2 minutes. If the sensor signal is stable after 2 minutes and within tolerance, the new spam point will be accepted and Cal OK will be displayed indicating a successful span calibration. You will be returned to the maintenance menu and the alarm 1 sub-menu will be highlighted. Close the valve on the regulator and disconnect the calibration regulator from the CoGuard sample inlet. Reconnect your air supply to the CoGuard sample inlet. You may now return to the operational mode by highlighting and selecting exit in the maintenance menu. If the sensor did not respond to the target gas after 2 minutes, the display will indicate same MV. This may indicate a bad sensor or the target gas was not detected at the sensor. Check your span gas to ensure you're using the correct cylinder. If the sensor signal is not within tolerance after the span gas is applied for 2 minutes, you will see bad span displayed. This indicates a span calibration failure. This may also indicate a bad or depleted sensor, or incorrect gas concentration. It is suggested to wait 30 to 60 minutes and attempt again. If the second span attempt fails, you may need to replace the sensor. If the sensor signal does not stabilize after 5 minutes, the display will indicate unstable and will return you to the maintenance menu. This means the span procedure was not successful and it may indicate a problem with the sensor. This completes the calibration for NMET's CoGuard. If you have any other questions about the CoGuard or the calibration, please contact us.